So you're thinking about moving to Texas, but you're not quite sure. I'm going to tell you some of the worst things that I have discovered living in Texas after moving here from California. Hey there, I am Chrissy Ball, a local real estate agent here in the North Dallas area. And today I wanted to share with you things that you'll want to think about before moving to Texas um, because I know for me and my family we had no idea what we were getting into when we decided to pick up our entire life and our kids and move here to Texas from California so I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've discovered over the past seven years that were a little bit surprising and that you'll want to consider or take into consideration before moving here. So the first thing is the weather. Now this is a complex topic. You've probably heard about the tornadoes that have come through Texas. And yes, on Wednesdays even, at least where I live, they test the sirens. And those are the sirens that go on if there's a tornado that is near. And if you need to get the cover, usually in a room that's inside of your house or some other place that's a tornado safe shelter. Um, I personally have not experienced a tornado here in the seven years that I've lived here. However, they do happen. And those are some of the things that you'll want to consider when moving here is that the weather here is really turbulent. We love it because it gives us a lot more excitement than we had in um, California. But again, you'll want to take that into consideration. Another thing about the weather here is the hail. The hail here can be absolutely crazy. There's some hailstorms here where there are golf ball size hail that literally drops from the sky and uh, you could be on a clear day and then all of a sudden you just get pummeled with a hailstorm and it is quite crazy. So um, the weather here is definitely adventurous, something that we actually like quite a bit because it brings a lot of change, but something that you'll want to think about when you are moving here. So speaking along the lines of being outside, bugs. The bugs here are disgusting. At least to me, I cannot stand bugs. And coming from California, we didn't have many. We would leave the door wide open. Well, you cannot do that here unless you have a screened in porch or unless you have a retractable screen so you can keep all those critters out. So you're going to notice that there are really, really huge bugs, spiders. We have bunny rabbits in our yard that go crazy during the summertime. Um, there are moths. There are, I mean, I, I just, the list goes on and on. They've got these June bugs that are huge. So when they say everything is bigger in Texas, they mean it, especially when it comes to the bugs and what you have to navigate with when um, the bugs around. And by the way, in the development that I live in, it used to be a um, an egg farm. And so there are a lot of flies that are also around here, although it's been a quite hot this summer. And so I think that all the flies are just, I, I don't know, they're not around this summer. Speaking of the heat, that is another thing that you want to consider and think about before moving to Texas. Yes, it gets hot here. And at the time of the recording this video, it is over 100 and it has been that way for quite some time. Now, once you get here for about a year, you get used to it just like any other place where you learn how to navigate the weather. So usually you will not see that many people out during the middle of the day, in the middle of the summer, unless you're in the pool or the lagoon that's over here, our little beach in the middle of the desert. But it absolutely gets so hot here and so that's something to think about when you are thinking about your climate and what you're wanting to be in now I will say that in this area of North Dallas it's pretty much a dry heat it's not that humid when you're going down to Houston and by the water it definitely gets more humid and sticky and hot but here in Dallas it is more of a dry heat now speaking of heat and how that's going to affect this next thing that I wanted to bring up to you, which is allergies. If you are prone to allergies, then you want to make note before you move here that your allergies can really flare up and get a little bit worse possibly. 
my husband and I do not have allergies at all, but when we moved here, we definitely had them for about two years. It took us a little while to get used to this climate, get used to all the different pollens and dusts and things that were in the air. Allergies usually kick up quite a bit in this area, but I have family members that have severe allergies, and after about the two-year period, they've been able to adjust and sink right into a new normal. Now, when it comes to the next item I wanna share with you, um, it's something that we didn't really think too much about or consider when we were moving here until we had picked the home that we really wanted, and that was property taxes. I do not want you to be blindsided with the property taxes in this area. They were significantly more expensive than where we came from in California. Now, I want you to make note that there's no income tax here in Texas, and so we are basically trading that tax, right? And another thing that we don't mind personally is that we can see where our money is going because the parks here are beautiful. The schools are beautiful and clean and our kids have access to so many things in the public school system that weren't even close to being available where we came from. And so we don't mind paying that property tax if we know where they're going and you can absolutely see where your tax dollars are going here locally. Um, but just be aware that they are significantly higher possibly and potentially from where you'll be relocating from. Now, speaking of taxes, I wanted to tell you this next little fun fact that you might not know about. And here, we do not have freeways. I don't know why they call them freeways or where you're from, they might call them an expressway. We call them here in Texas a tollway, right? And that's because you're going to be paying to get on the expressways here in this area. Um, usually they can range from 50 cents, a dollar to sometimes over two dollars depending on where you're going and the distance that you're going. So that was a pretty big ding for us and a bill that we had to pay monthly was just getting on the tollway from point A to point B and having to pay that extra cost in driving here locally. Now to offset that you can go on streets that are right parallel to the tollway and not have to pay. So depending on how creative you are with your driving route, you can work your way around and not have to hit all those tolls if you don't want to. Now for talking about driving, I cannot end this video without telling you about the traffic. The traffic here is interesting because let's keep it in perspective coming from LA, there's nothing like LA traffic. However, here locally, things are starting to get really jammed up because their roads are not keeping up with the influx of people that are moving here, as well as all the homes that they're building. They're building homes much faster than they're building roads to be able to handle all of these new re residents. So you will want to pack your patients and or use an app that we use, which is Waze, which helps us navigate around some of those traffic gridlocks that we find ourselves in here locally. There are also a lot of school zones. There are a lot of schools here and there are a lot of school zones. So that also slows up the traffic and kind of um, gets everything in a bottleneck. So you'll just want to be aware of how the traffic is. You want to be strategic with the times that you leave and just know that you might have to pack some patience when you're driving and sounds like I'm a little bit of a tangent when it comes to drivers because Texas drivers are crazy. I thought being in California, there were some crazy drivers and there absolutely are, but here in Texas, they might not give you eye contact, but they will certainly sometimes drive on the shoulder of the road. So you will wanna keep your eyes open because the drivers out here can drive a little bit crazy. Now I've talked a lot about driving and I think I'm gonna have to make an entire separate video just on how to navigate the roads around here. One of my clients just texted me the other day and said, Chrissy, how do I get around? So I think I might make you guys a video to show you just how different uh, getting around here driving is concerned. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tip. Make sure you go the speed limit. So I will give you more into that 
in my video where I talk about how you can actually navigate your way around here driving without getting lost and feeling crazy and hopefully avoiding a speeding ticket. And I'm gonna wrap things up with this, sports. Now, if you're a sports fan, you're probably like, well, what's wrong with sports, Chrissy? And I will tell you, because we are a sports family too, and we love our sport, but the sports here are very intense. Kids start getting very involved in their sports at a young age, and things can get a little out of control if you allow it to, or it's kind of sometimes the culture around here. Like we have Friday Night Lights here. And let me tell you, Friday Night Lights is the real deal. It's pretty fascinating to be a part of. But just overall, the sports here can be competitive and sometimes can be a little over competitive in pushing kids past, you know, what they can handle with their age and or just getting so involved in sports that we forget the true meaning of what they're meant to do to begin with. So I don't want to get onto a soapbox about sports because I can, but it just gets a little bit competitive here. I will say this though, we absolutely love the sports here. We love the access to all the different sports that you have here. I mean, I can't tell you if your kids want to be in lacrosse, if they want to be in soccer, if they want to be in hockey, if they want to be in, of course, football. There are so many sports that are highly competitive in this area, gymnastics, ice skating. I mean, there are so many sports, it's hard for me to list them all. Just know that you have access to so many elite facilities. It is fascinating. And as a former athlete, I could have only dreamed of living in an area like this. So I hope you found a little bit of value from this video as far as getting a little bit of a sneak peek behind the scenes of what Texas is when it's not so shiny and rosy on the surface, but it's pretty much what we live with every single day. We still love it here. We still would have never changed our decision to move to Texas for anything. And so I hope this video helped you get a little bit of knowledge of what it's like to live in Texas. If you want help buying your house, I would absolutely love to help you through your transition. I've helped so many clients make their transition just like we did coming from California. I would absolutely love to help you with yours. Thank you so much for watching. My information is in the description below and I hope you found this information helpful. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.